Hi guys, in today's video, we're gonna go through how to mentally prepare for your high rocks race, how we've done it. We're no experts on this. No, we're just gonna go through what we, we do. Yeah, we just do what we have to do because the first, these up to the first one. So the first one we did was High Rocks Manchester 2023. So exactly, well, nearly a year ago, isn't yeah. it? And I lost sleep for three days before. Not as if no sleep at all, but really troubled sleep. Because I was that nervous and apprehensive about it, and I got myself a bit worked up. I think so. A lot of this comes down to overthinking, yeah. And then we're going to go for a bit today on one how to stop that overthinking and how to change your mindset to be the right mindset. And yeah. this is you've got a very strong mindset as well, haven't you? Well, I don't know, but I thought I did, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I've improved it, and I also think. It, that's where your resilience comes in and don't let the fear of not sleeping put you off because I'm precious about my sleep now even more more than ever because we're training hard um, so don't let the fear of losing sleep and all the little bits hinder you back because you'll learn for next time and that's what I've probably done so probably why you're yeah. more and strong things, things like sleep as well if you do have a couple of bad nights sleep there's nothing you can then do about it you're then going to race so you need to get on and do what you're going to yeah. do and I, I think that one of the biggest things to, to remember is You've done the hard work before. You, you put the effort into your training. So then it's just a case of releasing that on the day. Yeah, that's if you have put the effort in. That's if you have, yeah, you have to put the effort There's in loads first. That don't, and loads that don't, do, don't put the effort in and just wing it on the day. They, that's their enjoyment. But yeah. this is like more for people that want to improve on their time and they put pressure on themselves. Because I put pressure on myself because I know what our time is and I really want to beat it. That could, be, that could be a bit of a hindrance, I think. And yeah, definitely. You're, you're applying that own pressure yeah. on yourself rather than just going and in, enjoying the day, enjoying the event. Yeah. Even on the last one where we didn't get a PB, we, we still enjoyed the yeah, day. Yeah, we did, and I got over it pretty quickly because we had things that happened. So if you get an injury, I learned that don't necessarily let you stop you from doing it because you had two months off and you still really want to do the event, yes. which I would have pulled out. I wanted to do it because I wanted to do, I wanted to be there and be part of it, and that's why a lot of people would be doing it. So one thing is, is trying to work out why you're doing high rocks in the first place. Yeah. So there's a question to you, why do you do high rocks? It gives me a challenge and it's mentally made me better at work as well, to be honest. It has, because it scares me. And anything that scares you, you get better at it anyway. Why, why, why do you do it? For the opportunity <laughs> to push forward and do something. And that massive reason for training and pushing hard in the gym, getting fitter and then enjoying the experience on the day. And if we can keep getting better, which is always the goal, and I think that's most people's goals, apart from apart from just getting through it. I think that's yeah. a lot of people's first goal, and I think that's a lot of the reason why the, the pressure's put on and itself. And they back, because they just got through it. Or you're putting that much pressure on yourself about getting through it. And I think one thing a lot of people do is trying to think too far ahead. So thinking of what you're doing at the end, so say you're thinking about walls and you're on your first run, that's going to be a long high rocks race. If you're worrying ahead about what's coming up. I do that. Not at the beginning, but I definitely do it around run five, probably. I oh, definitely it. don't. Yeah, I'm doing that run, and then once I've done that run, I might be thinking of the next yeah, one I'm doing, think just so I know we're down. heading to the run, or That's whatever we're doing. But yeah. I'm not thinking, oh my God, how are we going to do the burpees? How yeah. are we going to get through this? that's going to be a, a painful race. Yeah. And I think the, the more training you do, the more practice you put in, you then, when we turn up to ours, we have an idea of what time we're going to get because we've practiced it, we've done it. Yeah. Nothing's brand new. If you can do it in your practice, the sim, it makes a massive difference. But the thought of doing a practice high rods, people put it, put it off and I've learned that it's the best way to train, isn't it? Definitely. It's not, you don't do it all the time. You add yeah. it into your specific prep training near the event. Definitely do it. I'm that. dreading next week, right? So next week, Monday's tomorrow, just to give you an example. And we've got a couple of sims coming up, haven't we? Yeah. Probably three in a week, but spread out. Then there's three sims in a week, but it's not three full sims. Yeah, exactly. Some are technique, some are less percentages, some is a steady of one. It's more getting used to doing it. And then once you've done it, you then know you can do it. Yeah. So I'll give you a really good example here. Planning on doing the uh, individual event in October. So in my head, I'm thinking, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Whereas yesterday we ran for two hours. I know I can do it. I might not be able to do it as quick as doing the doubles because I'm not getting the, the little breaks, but yeah. I've got ages to train for it. 
And yeah. when I'm thinking, what is it I think I can't do? Straight away I go burpees, urban broad jumps, because they're horrendous. Yeah, but you're better at them now. Yeah, but I have to change my technique to be a step back, step forward, yeah. to be able to do the distance of an individual rather than doing half the distance of doubles. Yeah. Wall balls, thinking I'm not going to be able to do 100. I know I can do 10. <laughs> I know I can have a little rest. I know I can do another 10. People need to leave the egos at the door because yeah. it doesn't matter. I need... You know that when we got our peak knock, we didn't get a PB last time. He kind of ruined me, but not for long. I just it's, thought you've got to just be right. That. It's the book I read on holiday, and that's a big thing on, on that is is you're going to get over something. It's just how long is it going to take you to get over it? He uses the example of losing your phone. So it might take you three weeks to get over losing your phone. It's taking months. But you're going to get over it. So you want to make that time as short as possible. Yeah, that's what you I need to be able to go right. It's done now. You remember the next bit. That's a really good book. It's, it's becoming yes. a 0.1% the Paul Marines one. Yeah. It's really good. That's about building an elite mindset. Yeah. That, there's so much it's in that. It's more mindset, I've learned. Like you're, even if you say I'm fitting and you don't, you know, and yeah. your mindset probably gets you through it to keep I think my up. mindset's pretty good. Yeah, it is. I think I'll, he like you'll ask me when we're training. He's ridiculous. Oh, are you okay? My answer's always going to be yeah. I'm never going to say to you, oh. I'm really struggling, this is really hard. Of course it's really hard. We're training, it's a you'll hard never session. Ever, you'll never know. I'll you'll never know. ever say it. You'll never because say I don't it. want to. As soon as I start saying it out loud, I might start believing it. So yeah. I won't even go there. I'm going to be training, I'm going to be training, and I'm doing what I'm doing. Oh, God. The oh, other God. thing, the other thing that's thinking, uh, what's the quote from Michael Jordan? Something about him taking 9,000 shots, or missing 9,000 shots, losing 300 games. I've probably got those stats completely wrong, but... Why, why is he so good? Because he just keeps doing it and persistence, persistence yeah. in what you're doing. It's not about how many times you fail. We're yeah. all going to fail. And then high rocks have any chance just to go, this is where I'm at at the moment. You do your best and then you go, right. Yeah, we started running June 2022. Well, I did because she was in June. <laughs> June 2022. Then you came out of your injury and all later and you joined in running. We couldn't run. No, and I, I did 20 kilometres yesterday. We did 20 kilometers. I never thought I'd do that. Hyrox has made me do that. I can blame Hyrox for a lot of stuff, yeah. but a lot of positive stuff. I'd never have run 20 kilometers. You wouldn't have just... done a fast hit session. No, I wouldn't have done any. You were sluggish. Because I didn't enjoy it, whereas I like this. This is good. No, you just didn't give it a go. No, because I didn't have a reason to train. Hyrox gives you the reason to train. And Hyrox is, is easy, is in the moves on. No, the it's simple is what I'm doing. It's not easy. No, it's not easy. The move, the movement skill. There isn't yeah. a lot of skill apart from hitting that target yeah. at the end of the wall. Really. So I'd also say follow people that inspire you um, that are real on social media. So there's a lot of fakery on there. But there are a lot of people that will share their highs and lows within their fitness. It doesn't have to be just high rock. So I, that helped me a lot to see that they're real humans that have rest days and struggle and don't sleep. So I've been tracking my sleep a bit more, but I see others tracking sleep and saying they had a bad night. I think, oh, my sleep's actually not that bad then. Yeah, definitely. Who you who you surround yourself with and a big part of that is social media. Yeah. And what you're actually consuming, it'll do a lot for your mindset. Yeah. If you're consuming stuff where it's all negative, this, this and this, you've got a negative mindset. Yeah. It'd be hard not to. If you're always looking at positive stuff, what's the saying that you liked about the umbrella? <laughs> Say it. I can't remember it. No, about worrying. Walking, worrying's like walking around with your umbrella up when it's a dry day, basically. Exactly. No one does that, do they? Hold an umbrella with it up just in case it rains. And that's what a lot of fear is. Fear, fear is you're building something up in your head, the worst case scenario. Yeah. It never happens. Yeah. It's yeah. De- honestly, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And the more you want to do it, the, if you see yourself, it improves. That's another thing, isn't it? It yeah. helps you mentally too. Definitely work on the mindset. You can't do a high rock space unless you're doing it for fun. If you want to be get PBs, you, you won't be able to do it on lack of sleep forever, or I don't know, drinking a bit of milk, for example, and having a poor diet. Because we're trying to, well, I'm trying a new diet plan, you're following it a little bit, aren't Bits you? And pieces. We want to get better at high rocks, and we aren't, we aren't professionals. We're just going to show our journey. And if we look back, hopefully in two years, if we hit podium, we can look back. <laughs> sure, I said seven years to give myself a jazz. Seven years to get better. Seven years. How old everyone's are you? getting better. Fifty. Be 50, 50. Exactly. Because everyone's getting better and better. So yeah, to be to be mentally strong, prepare yourself. Yeah. Do the training. Yeah. Think positive thoughts. Yeah. Surround yourself with positive things. Yeah. Visual, visualize yourself actually. Complete it. Visualize 
the end and how you feel at the very end once you've yeah, done it yeah. rather than visualize yourself dying on the walls yeah you visualize that and that isn't the way to go you yeah. visualize yourself crossing the line yeah you can even collapse the lay on the floor like i like to do like to do have to do yeah whichever one it is visualize that part visualize the feeling of what you're doing when the other the other thing to do is positive talking to yourself while you're doing it yeah, do you do that? That, yeah. so when you're going you around running, yeah what you might have a little mantra that you say or something yeah. or thinking of positive things or thinking about how you're going to feel once you finish doing it yeah. the, the bit when you're doing it it's always going to be difficult yeah. you're always going to push yourself that's a whole whole part of it that little bit's an hour and let's just say an hour and a half for the average person doing it and then that's gone that, that pain is gone it's like when you're training and you're pushing yourself hard that pain eventually subsides and something else takes its place we've got that as a sign up at the gym on it the, the pain subsides it's and painful. something else takes its place and something else takes its place. So tap into that pain when you're in the race because people hold themselves back, don't yeah. they? Get, so comf get comfortable. Yeah, Just it's banging out all the quotes here. Get comfortable. I'm not even getting any quotes oh right. I'm not even getting the quotes right. Oh my God, I'm I feel like you're an actual book right now. What is going to happen to you? Well, then. Yeah, but I'm probably not getting any of it right. <laughs> get oh, yeah. comfortable being uncomfortable, right? Because I've done childbirth and it is actually as painful and it's horrific because that moment I tap into that now even though I don't like it yeah the, the more the more we train the anaerobic threshold sitting at roughly 160 heart rate it's always going to be uncomfortable but you so, do get a little bit more comfortable you do get used to it you do and get then when you're at 158 it. then it's like oh, this isn't so bad oh it's horrendous. it's fine in that point I especially when you're let me just say something excitement and nerves are similar very so true it's, it's true very true if you're there and you're thinking oh I'm really nervous I'm really scared you're meant to be, and it's all to tell yourself you're excited. When, when you reframe, oh, the best bit I've said this in other YouTube videos before the best bit when you're on that starting line, you've put in all the hard work, that's my you've got that 10 minute countdown, I you're in that tunnel it. with everybody, no. you've got the music going, it's the best, it's the best bit ever. That's where you want to try and calm yourself down a bit, stay focused, but be calm with what oh. you're doing, and then and then that last 10 second countdown, and then as soon as you start. I say you're supposed to feel nervous. As soon as you start, nerves are gone, you're off, you go in. I know what helps me. I laugh at myself. So when I'm like, Gee, so I do a little bit of a dance down through the tunnel every single time. You look like you're so serious and I'm like that, I'm trying to get my heart shot. rate down. And I'm doing a little jig because that's my adrenaline going. I'm trying to like, and I can say, we're fine, we're fine, it's fine. And what else is, if you need to slow down, just calm yourself, heart rate down a little bit, do it. Don't actually push yeah. yourself and follow somebody else. That's the worst thing you can do. Yeah, race your own race. Do what's right for you. But once you slow down, I think it'll be the confidence to get back up again and go, we never slow down, but there's moments where you had to jump in once when I was only thrown up <laughs> in broad jumps. Yeah. But funny enough, I still go back for more. So yeah. I'm obviously enjoying that element of progression. Yeah. And it is, it's learning to enjoy it and know why you're doing it's it. It's learning to enjoy it because it isn't overly enjoyable throughout the race. So I don't think many will say they absolutely loved it unless they took, did it comfortably. Yeah. Let's be no, honest I, here. I don't know. I don't think most, most people at the beginning are going to be nervous, whatever they say. Yeah. Most people, while they're doing the race, is going to think, this is really hard. Because yeah. most people are pushing themselves. So if yeah. you're doing your race and you're thinking, I'm the only one who's nervous or... I'm, I'm, am I the only one who's feeling like this as I'm going around the course thinking, yeah. I just want to stop. I'm just going, there's a toilet there. I can just dip to the toilet yeah. and go straight out the door and never come back. Yeah. Most people are thinking, oh, if there was a way out, yeah. I'd take a way out. That's when you just go, and everyone else is feeling it. As yeah. soon as you get to the end, everyone else is feeling that same feeling as well when you think, oh my God, I've done it. I feel so good for achieving it. And that that's the mindset to focus on of thinking of that end, end goal. You've achieved what you wanted to achieve and hopefully you hit time you wanted to hit yeah. and you progress like you want to progress and if it's your very first one yeah, expect to have all those feelings it's yeah. perfectly normal to have all those feelings i need to a hundred times yeah yeah it's, it's, it's literally whatever you'll be feeling the day the week before your race yeah. is perfectly normal we've yeah. done a video on what we do the week before the race so, so you can check that, check out. that out we've also done a video on what we do the day off the race yeah so Check that one out as well. If that helps. And also, I do videos on my old, my YouTube that are really old from when I even started running back in June 2022. So I'm sure you can find me on there if you want to tr really see how amateur we, we are or were. Yeah. We're getting more professional. Getting better and better. But that's, yeah. that's the whole point of it. We never started doing any of this going, we're professional athletes. No. We started this going, 
we like going to the gym and doing an average, this, don't we? but just want to be, yeah, just want to keep trying to get a bit better and chipping away at it and enjoying the process of doing it. So we hope you're enjoying all the videos that we're doing. We hope you find them useful. Lots more coming. Yeah, we're doing a foodie one of what we're doing food wise. Um, probably what we before Manchester, we'll do a Manchester review and all that. Yeah, well, we're going to do a bit of a beginners one as well, just if you're yes. a straight up beginner, what to expect and what to do. Yeah. yeah, more videos come in. Hope you're enjoying it all. If you're racing soon, have a great race. If you see us at any of them, say hi. And that's it.